Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you this metal stencil bookmark that I ordered. It's uh, made by Peter Popper Press and I wanted to give it a go for my journaling because I thought a lot of the stencils would be useful for me. So let's test it out and see how well it works on paper. So for my first test, I'm going to be trying this El Cheapo um, <laughs> Target dollar section note notepad paper. And um, I am using my Uniball Signo DX in this. And it is a 0.38. And I really like these pens. I feel like they roll really nice on all paper. So this is pretty much my go-to pen for when I'm journaling. So I thought it would be best to try it with this. And here's a quick close up of the pen. So far so good with the cheap paper. Everything went really well, as well as I would have expected it to with these pens, just because I think they're so awesome. <laughs> but in all seriousness, the stencil worked really well, even on the cheapest paper with a nice pen. Things changed, however, whenever I started working with the mild liners and the um, stencil on this El Cheapo paper. And I'm going to blame the paper for, the, for what you will see shortly, um, because the mild liners did work well on other papers, which I will be showing you. So where the problems began were with the um, kind of the juiciness of the mild liners. They would end up um, the the liquid of the the ink, the marker ink, would kind of make a, a smudgy design. You'll see it whenever you can see it close up here. You can see that uh, the liquid kind of wicked out over the um, stencil and made it very smudgy. Uh, in general. I also decided to give the stencil another try on the cheap paper and this time I basically let um, the ink dry a little bit before I lifted the stencil off but even so it ended up not working at all. It was the same it ended up in the same with the same results basically. And here you can see that even waiting for the marker ink to dry um, still didn't help very much. You still had like that squidging out of the marker ink for lack of a better term. <laughs> As I said earlier, I do not blame the stencil for this. I blame the, the quality of the paper and you will see how well it works on the other better quality papers here in like two seconds. So here I'm setting up for another test run and I am going to be testing on a page in my Hobonichi Weeks and I'm also going to be using this um, personal size six ring binder paper that is this brand right here, Maliko. I think I got it on Amazon, unfortunately, but um, yeah, it, it's in a nice affordable paper. I like it quite a lot actually. I was honestly really surprised by um, the quality of this paper, but maybe I just haven't discovered this brand yet. I guess I need to research them. Anywho, that is enough blabber about paper, so let's get started testing this out. So first up, I am going to test it out on the Maliko um, planner refills, and uh, this is actually the paper that I've started using in my um, commonplace binder and I will be sharing that in a future video but I'm getting off topic. Um, basically as I expected uh, this uh, Uniball Signo works really well on this paper. Uh, there's no show through on the other side and the stencil works perfectly. 
Now the big test here is trying out the stencil with the mild liners on the Maliko paper. And voila, you can see that it makes a nice straight line without any bleed. And here is a little close-up footage of this uh, before I do some more extensive testing with the uh, stencil. I decided to try out um, a couple of the larger uh, stencil areas, like this oval here, and it worked out well as well. There's no bleed there, and there was no uh, marker ink on the back of the uh, stencil bookmark. I decided to try a few of the smaller things, which, you know, it's a little difficult to fit the mild liner tip in there, but it, it works. So next up is to try the Hobonichi Weeks paper, and for this I'm going to find a page in the back, uh, something far away from the front to do my little test swatches on. I decided to start the test out with my trusty Uniball Signo ballpoint uh, just because uh, I just can't say enough nice things about that pen. I really like it, even though it's just super cheap. Anyway, with that, with that um, control out of the way, it's time to test out the mild liner, which is uh, the more important test here. I decided to let the uh, ballpoint ink uh, dry a little bit just in case it was a little bit juicy and uh, because I was gonna be pushing this up pretty close to it and here we go and yeah it worked perfectly in the um, Hobonichi weeks and I will give you a close-up of that here in a hot minute <laughs> so you can clearly see it gives you a nice straight line with um, you know very minimal bleed there's a little bit on the end dot but and there's a little bit of dust on my er, eraser dust on my notebook so yeah I am very satisfied with this purchase and that is pretty much it for this video I just thought I would share my findings because it's always a good idea to save money where you can, especially in this economy. Oh, and one last note, I did test it on plain printer paper and it worked perfectly. So you're clear on that one as well. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I will have more journaling videos and some more art videos as well for those of you who followed me for art originally. I plan to do both uh, journaling and art for this channel, at least for the time being. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.